from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for November 14th, 2016. I hope you had a great weekend and are ready to get started with trading this week. In today's video, I'm going to do a general overview of each of the U.S. currency pairs in anticipation of this week's trading, and I'm going to highlight some of the key levels that we will be looking for entry and exit opportunities. Today's news calendar is pretty light, and you'll want to be sure to check your financial calendars for the latest releases throughout this week. Okay, let's take a look at the USD CHF, the U.S. dollar versus the Swiss franc for our first currency pair of the week. In the long term, in the live trade room, we've been studying this big range that this currency pair has been stuck in, the black box that you see, the falls, the rises within that range. What's interesting about today, again, is that we're challenging the top of that range. The market is trying to push through the 99.50, 99.55 level and continue to, that upside pressure that began uh, really after the election results last week. We saw the extreme fall all the way down towards the 99.50 level and the rapid reversal and now challenging back into the mid to upper 9900. So that's interesting information coming from the wide angle view of the daily. Zoom it in, you can see there it is pushing through 9955 right now, but we've seen that before. Really the peak the last peak high where these two trend lines meet was all the way up here into the 9990 level. So that's closer towards this pink shaded area and the uh, parity level for the US franc. So just because it's uh, pressuring above it doesn't mean we can't see this turn back around and go back in the other direction. Now I'm not saying it will, but we need to be aware that it's approaching resistance right now. Be a little bit cautious about going long. Uh, I think your next real significant opportunity to go long here are one of twofold. It either dips back down to support, maybe sitting back down into the 99.50 level as a support, or the next opportunity would be the breakout above parity, the 1.0 level. So if you're looking to go long on this pair, you probably don't want to go long as it approaches the pink shaded area. But a dip back down to support or a break through that resistance at the pink zone becomes your opportunity to go long for the dollar franc this week. Four hour time frame doesn't really change it much when you're looking at the four hour time frame, but what it does is gives you a little bit of a different perspective about what the breakout really is. If you look again, look at the blue shader and look at the top left hand corner of the chart. And let me just take a little uh, circle right here. And I'm, I'm going to point this out right here, right where the circle is. Note here, the market challenged. It pushed all the way into the pink zone right there where the blue circle is suddenly reversed and that began, began the next downtrend. So again, don't assume today is going up. We want a clear indication that it's going up. A breakout above 99.55. We look for it to go to the pink zone as our next resistance and above the pink zone could go higher, but that's what we need to wait for. We don't want to buy it because right now because there's no indication that it's going to break through 1.1 like it didn't last time. So keep that in mind as you look to trade the dollar franc this week. Looking over to the euro dollar, similar situation, I'm starting out here on the weekly time frame because I need to show you the long-term viewpoint because this is important. 2014, clear downtrend since January of 2015, stuck in that red box down at the bottom right-hand corner of the chart. That's where we are right now. We're in that box, so we need to be aware of that. Daily time frame, there's the red box. We're approaching back to the bottom of it, of course. Last week's uh, uh, free fall here for the euro dollar continues. It's pressuring all the way back down into the low 1.0700s. Key point that I want to make here, let me see if I can grab one of these little blue circles here and just drag it to the bottom right left-hand corner of the chart. See the blue circle, bottom left-hand corner of the chart? You see that support right back there? That's all the way back into early part of this year. Uh, January, early part of this year, late December, early January, the 1.0750 to 1.0725 level. That's the blue zone that the market is currently sitting on. Again, just like the franc, you don't want to go short sitting on top of that. When's your opportunity to go short? It either rallies back to resistance into the green zone or breaks through the blue zone. That's when you're looking to go short. It rally back to resistance or a breakthrough support. Again, look at that blue circle on the left. You see the green zone with a lot of support there. That will be your intraday resistance, a breakthrough 90 or sorry, 107.50, 107.25, the blue zone. Continues to pressure. Where? Let's look back to the left. It goes all the way back down into the 106s, the orange shaded area, the very bottom of the chart, if we can break through that blue shaded area. So that's what we're looking for, cheering on the sellers to do that. I might even consider the fact that it might even push as high 
high as this last support level here into 108.65, 108.90 before turning back lower again for the euro dollar. Take it over to GBP USD. We saw last week a significant rally for the pound dollar went all the way up into the 126.50 or so into the 50s and now we see a, a gap lower and it pu pushing back in the other direction. Probably the most important area to zoom in on here on the GBP USD is this green zone. We see resistance here. We see resistance here. Last week it found a little bit of resistance there, finally pushed all the way to the orange zone, and now here we are right back underneath this green shaded area at the very top of the chart. So that's what we need to pay attention to today, maybe even over the next couple of days. Back underneath here, interesting, could be a head and shoulders development, but back underneath here, 125.10, 125.45, we could be looking for it to go back down, target back down to obviously the yellow shaded area if it does start to go down, and then underneath there lower. If it gets back above the green zone today and sits back on top of that support, 25, 45, 50, we could be looking at another challenge of the orange zone. So really, we need to watch this green zone. Break below it, open and close, look for it to go lower. Break above it, open and close, Look forward to go back up again for the GBP USD this week. Take it over to the USD CAD. Continues the rally here for the dollar CAD. Uh, previous downturn, that was a while back. Uh, of course, we've been primarily in an uptrend over the past several days. Let's go ahead. Uh, I want to look back to the left-hand side. You see the red box right here, middle of the downtrend. This is what's important right here. It's middle of the downtrend. There's a red box right here. Why am I pointing it out? That's what we're challenging right now. What was support in that red box is now our resistance 1.3510, 1.3550. So what's it going to take to go higher? It needs to break through that yellow shaded area. And then we look for it back into the 3670, 30, uh, level, the pink zone. Let's zoom it in now that we see that. Zoom it in one more time even. Uh, so now we can see that yellow zone is going to be important for us this week. Of course, uh, right now, the market is clearly finding resistance at that yellow shaded area. That's clear. You don't want to buy it under resistance. You buy it on a break of resistance. So it needs to break out above 35.50, a break out above there. We then look for it to go back up again towards the pink shaded area. Don't assume it's a breakout. We want clear evidence of a breakout. Open and close above there will be our main focus. Back underneath here, any indications of reversal pressure down, we could be looking for it at least back down to 34.20, which is, of course, this little blue shaded area that was set at the top of that black box for the dollar CAD today. Moving on over to the USD JPY, continues to have an extreme rally here since the election results dipped back down then and then suddenly reverse, pressuring back higher. Uh, take a look at the green zone, 107.70, the orange zone above it, 108.35. We're above the green zone right now. Look back to the circles, the blue and the red circle where the market found resistance at the green zone before. We're above that now. So it's not too hard to see that if it stays above that green shaded area, 107.70, 107.40. We're looking for it to head back up to the orange zone. Again, it's very difficult to buy something at the highest high. You know, you never want to buy something at the highest high. But if it gives you indication of a breakout, I don't have a problem with it. The fact that this little four-hour candle is above that green zone is encouraging for me today. Staying above 107.70.40, the green zone, the potential of con that continued drift towards the 108.35.75 or 65, sorry, level, the orange zone is still there. The only reason to look for a reversal would be back under the green zone 10740 uh, for the US yen this week. Next moving over to the US oh, sorry the AUD JP <laughs> AUD USD sorry Australian US dollar. Uh, I've highlighted this cuz I think this is interesting. It's kind of a triangle pattern setup. We're underneath that right now. The black trend line, the 100 period moving average, uh, the red trend line, we're underneath all of that in that triangle pattern. So we could be looking at indications of uh, the turn back lower again. Let's go ahead now that you see where that blue triangle comes from. Let's zoom it in one time. Take a look. Right now, we're underneath the 100 period moving average where it was support, 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 and now we're underneath it. Uh, challenging the 75-35 level, the yellow zone. We're underneath the black trend line, underneath the triangle. So could be our first indications of a breakout of that triangle to continue the downward fall here for the AUD USD. Take it down to the four hour time frame. Again, kind of a tough place right here. I'm just going to take this circle and get it out of the way. Uh, in fact, let's use it. Let's take this circle and put it right here. Take a look at that. Uh, right inside that little blue circle, uh, the market's in congestion in the yellow zone. So it's clear breakout scenario. We need to wait for the breakout. It either today or maybe tomorrow breaks out underneath 75.35 and continues the free fall that we've been in over the past couple of days. 
If it doesn't and breaks to the top side, 75.50, we could be looking for the rally back towards the pink zone here. So that's what we're looking for today. Likely the breakout scenario outside this little yellow shaded area today to give you confidence in direction, uh, which would be either higher to, to make a little rally higher underneath the pink zone or continue the downward fall for the Australian dollar. Back to the NZD USD, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, we're into a trend line. Take a look at the black trend line. I don't think that's too hard to see. We're uptrend into the trend line. It needs to break that trend line before it's going to continue to go lower. I think it's very difficult to go short on top of the trend line. So keep that in mind, the black trend line as we zoom in. You can see where it comes from now. Uh, we're challenging it. We're testing. I don't think we've broken it yet. That is uh, basically 7100, 7110, the blue shaded area, right around the trend line. We are challenging underneath that low, so that's interesting. So again, I often say in the trade room we want to sell things into resistance or breaks of support. So that's what we're looking for today. It either rallies to resistance, which at this point is all the way back up at the yellow zone into 7150, or breaks out under the blue shaded area, 7100, 7110, 15 or so. So that's what we're looking for today. And then if it does continue to pressure lower back here into the purple zone, and of course, if it breaks that last low there at the purple shaded area, let me get this little blue circle right here and drag it down there. If it breaks this last low where the blue circle is, I think we're looking for a turn all the way back down, at least at minimum, back down to this orange zone, 6975. So that's what I think we want to watch for this week. The breakdown under the purple zone, last support low, continues the free fall under the trend line, by the way, as well, down towards the mid 6900s for the NZD USD this week. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.